not working. What's happening, guys? I bet you haven't seen one of these rolling down the road in about four decades. This is a 1968 Yamaha YCS1. Little two-stroke ripper. What a cool piece. Showing only 5,822 miles on the original odometer. This is a classic that's stood the test of time. Uh, it just went through a complete mechanical refresh here uh, at the New England Motorcycle Museum. We actually outsourced the motor rebuild to our good friend Jeff at Castine, uh, Jeff Castine at All Sport Cycle, uh, mainly because, not because it's a really hard thing to do, they're actually pretty easy to work on, but we've got about a six month backlog. We just sold about, I don't know, a hundred bikes as is that we didn't have the time to go through because, uh, well, it just takes a long time to do them. So this one has been mechanically gone right through. It's got a brand new front tire, brand new rear tire. The engine was completely dismantled by Jeff. Uh, the top end was cleaned uh, and bored out to first over. It's got a brand new NOS Yamaha piston and rings in it. Uh, plus the um, carburetors were completely rebuilt. New base gasket, new head gasket, new spark plugs. I'll have to grab the work order in case I forget anything. But he completely went through it and got it running perfectly. The headlight works uh, and uh, she's ready to go. Has a nice little rowdy bark to it, a little two-stroke sound. The IRC tires are probably these new IRC tires are probably light years better than the standard equipment that came on it. It does have the patina of 53 years on it, which, you know, most real uh, hardcore collectors want original bikes like this, not ones that uh, have been cosmetically restored. There's just something about the fact that they're only original once, you know. So I got the work order here. Let me go over it with you real quick. Um, this, this, is a, this um, bike here uh, has an auto lube oil injection. Feeding its 180cc two-stroke twin-cylinder engine, a five-speed transmission, um, street in instrumentation, a headlight, taillight, and amazingly, an electric starter. It, it's kind of like two big bore GT180, which is one of the most reliable. You know, they made the GT180 uh, in 70. is very similar. Uh, crank in, in, in top end, construction, two-stroke. So, um, the again, NOS one millimeter over pistons. Uh, new base gaskets, new uh, one millimeter over ring sets, new battery. Uh, the gas tank was cleaned out. It has a Petcock rebuild kit installed on it. So the Petcock's good. New fuel lines, new uh, spark plugs, uh, new larger number 25 pilot jets, new fuel line and, and filters, um, three air boot clamps. Uh, injector oil was serviced and uh, uh, injector system was serviced and the oil was drained and new oil was put in it. It has the um, ethanol free fuel in there uh, so uh, the top end obviously had to be removed to bore both the cylinders to 51 millimeters which is one millimeter one millimeter over stock so um the carburetors have been cleaned pilot jets upgraded new battery a new petcock kit the points have been cleaned and serviced um just got a real nice rowdy rumble to the two-stroke exhaust which is nice and um when it got back from jeff's place went through an eight hour uh, full day detail where it was steam cleaned, all the chrome and all aluminum pieces were cleaned and polished to the best of our ability. Uh, the painted pieces were buffed and waxed, the original paint. The seat was, uh, had some seat vinyl conditioner put on it. Um, fr the frame was lightly touch touched up and it was basically detailed from top to bottom. So parts and labor on the engine rebuild and the cosmetic rest uh, preservation cleanup was $1,633. Uh, I have the comprehensive vintage blue book right here showing the NADA value of this bike at $3,500. Um, we've put a, just about half that into it so far and uh, plus the original purchase price. So obviously we're not going to make any money on this bike. Another one of uh, our uh, restorations that is truly a labor of love, which is why most people do these. No, the, this is a hobby that has grown into a, a business, but really it's a hobby and, and, and we love it. This is another one of Senior's fine investments. Yeah, well, you know, I have Yamaha. Uh, my first tattoo will be a Yamaha tuning fork. Look at the badges on the tanks. Looks nice in the, the aluminum. I mean, this is, this is well, I was two years old when this bike came out, right? I'm 55 years old. So to me, uh, it was well worth doing, rebuilding the motor, 
in getting it running. And yeah, we put a lot of money into it, but I'm sure we'll get most of it back, if not all of it. And uh, whoever buys it is buying a, a bike that uh, is already an antique and, and is, is going to continue to go up in value. So, and it, it looks to be a pretty much 100% original. Uh, the original tack and uh, our speedometer works nice as a steering dampener around here. The original handlebars and grips and levers and everything are intact. The um, Look at the Yamaha uh, tuning fork on the gas tank. Wow. Holy moly. Look inside that tank. It looks like brand new. Um, obviously, it must have been drained and coated with WD-40 because uh, we didn't restore the gas tank. That's what, that might have been one of the reasons why we restored it because when the gas tanks on these are really hard to come by most of them rotted out because people left fuel in them for 40 years so to have one that uh, the, the the gas tank is that clean is is just just unheard of so um, if you have any questions about the bike give us a call 860-454-7024